rooms are locked down. So right now what I'm trying to do is just beat the chest and dark room with all the characters. Two most basic uh, paths you could take. I haven't done any of the challenges yet, but those are pretty easy. I love how my little pet is just taking care of all the familiars that it summons. what this guy has to offer. Crazy powerful brimstone beam. Don't even have to use my transformation right now. Once Eve gets to one heart, one red heart, then she transforms and gets more power, but I don't need it right now. You could also use the razor blade to hurt yourself and she'll get a power boost for that room, so I'll probably save that for the boss. Rotten Tomatoes is so good. I also have sulfur beams, which will break through walls and find secret areas. So I might go on a secret room hunt. Probably one in this room. Maybe not. works. Okay. So it may take a while to break through the wall since not all my hits are guaranteed to do damage to rocks and stuff. Let's break the mirror. Seven years bad luck. Well, I oh don't know, probably only a bomb could break that. There's gotta be one right here, right? Yeah. So I guess if I get the brimstone, the sulfur beam won't break the walls. I know there's a secret in there. Mm. 
Rotten Tomato just turned all its babies against her. You see how they were attacking it? I'm gonna go try something. I'm gonna do some experimentation. See if I can break through this wall. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah. Okay, so Brimstone Beam makes it so you can't break through secret walls when you have Sulfuric Tears. It's good to know. Oh, I can't see anything in Curse of Darkness with these glasses on. Good for looking for, for crawl spaces too. Ooh, gotta fight greed and get some golden poop. Rotten Tomato does it tart when you hit it the enemy turns red meaning that it's a weak enemy and so all of its little enemies in the same room as it will attack it to kill it it's kind of like a charm ability like reverse charm I would love a sacrifice room. Razor blade to take red health so I don't waste my soul hearts on taking damage. And then I could do the same thing here. Ooh, I would definitely be getting that. have more bombs I know where all the secret rooms are I already beat boss rush with Eve so I don't really need to rush could go for a hush, but I'm not making that a priority right now. I'd rather explore. To get that counterfeit penny. I don't need this thumbtack. Counterfeit penny gives you a chance of picking up an extra coin whenever you pick up any coin.
easily dispatchable. Usually these guys uh, have to give a hard time because of their accurate flame throwing abilities. But with Brimstone they just go down like a cheap whore in Cleveland. Grab that for me. Is there anything worth buying in the shop? Did I even check it? Buy shit just to buy shit. Always break skulls when you can. They could give black hearts and tarot cards. We'll use this and then go grab the Emperor card. Krampus? No one likes you, Krampus. Just a Satan wannabe. Had the same moveset, pretty much, except you don't split into two. Come on, Ellie. I know they're barking at something out there. It's the UPS time. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, best possible out uh, outcome to get is the coal. Grab the uh, Emperor card. That was the only good one. Tower sucks. Tower just spawns multiple troll bombs everywhere. Emperor actually gets you to the boss of that current floor. ever go to the bathroom like in a public place you take a dump and realize that there's no toilet paper so you have to wipe with your hand that ever happened to you never happened to me but that'd be pretty bad Dude, the, but those will cut up your butt. They're hecka sharp.
Well, there's a sink outside you could just wash it off with. It's not worth one measly treasure chest. I think I'm gonna do all that labor for one little chest. I'm not illegal. Gotta pay me for my time. And one chest is not worth it. Three battles for one chest that'll probably contain like a key and a heart. Not even a gold chest. This is probably my least favorite character in the game, Eve. It's not that she's challenging to play with it's just that it's not fun playing with her or as her I feel comfortable giving up my razor blade for this item because I really don't need the razor blade to win this. I really don't need the razor blade to win this ramp, this whole run because I've got the brimstone beam which is more than enough for the dark room and chest bosses Isaac and the dark lamb plus I'll be getting more powerful along the way I don't need my demon form now I forgot I could take some satan deals that'll make the demon form come naturally after I get rid of three hearts and hey I'll take it but I don't need the uh, razor blade I would like some more soul hearts so that makes it so it gives me a little white heart and if I clear the room with it or the dungeon the, this floor with it then I'll get an extra red heart so I'll be taking that in, into consideration if I make any more devil deals still got tons of money to spend go for more bombs war he's gonna give me a bandage or a piece of meat hopefully that gives me the conjoined ability with three familiars then we'll really be in good shape nope Oh, I don't know if you know what that duplicate item does, but it basically duplicates everything in the room. Even pedestal items, so I can get like two of one pedestal item. It's actually really cool. Probably one of the strongest usable items, but you only can use it once. 
So I usually use it on devil and angel items. That's an unexpected turn of events. Don't even have to charge a brimstone beam anymore. Okay. I see what you'll give me. Okay. I'll take the dark bomb. He collects hearts and will get, drop soul hearts or black hearts after a while. I don't even need that. That's probably the most worthless item he could give you. Definitely blowing this up. That just obliterated him. Nah, I still need my keys. Steps two. So no more shops, no more item rooms after this. No, that's not going to be it up here. No. Hmm. Sometimes these secret, super secret rooms are pretty tricky to find. Wow, another slot machine. No, I don't want that. Do want that. Oh, check this out. You gonna see some pro level gamer shit? Some godlike level here. You could bomb your way into here. Uh, it's not worth it, but I'll go in and do it since I'm hella powerful. Fucking Exodia obliterate that shit. Caffeine pill makes your sides go down move faster. Probably a secret room in here. Super secret room. Oh, baby, give me those orbs. Well, that was not wanted. Oh, I'll Demon's definitely take power. that. The only time it's worth getting using pills is if there's two in one, like two of the same in one room, then you could get either... You could double the effect of good pills.
yeah, those boss rooms, the ones I snuck in through here, they open only if you have only uh, one red heart left. So there's ways to jump across the border, so to speak, and get in there illegally. This is a red mom, so she should be stomping down all her feet. Yeah. Uh, I'll make my choice after the devil room. Oh, baby. Check this shit out. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that charge up, though. Why does if I get two knives? Oh, okay, I could just spam it. So now the question is, do I go lamb or do I go... Yeah, it's because I got the brimstone beam earlier. And now I've also got the super brimstone beam with my active item. I also got that uh, hematomus, that red blob next to the uh, knife right there underneath the dark bum. So I'm pretty, pretty powerful. It just depends on who I want to kill now. Yeah. I think I want to go dark room so that I could get rid of my red heart in the dark room and get even more stronger with the curse. So with this, what does it do? It just makes it even faster. And I've got Sulfur Tears, too. But I don't know if these will open up secret rooms. I know the Brimstone Beam won't, but I wonder if these will. <laughs> I could just knife my way through the rocks. Okay. Yeah. Get out early. Yep. No way I'm going to be using this. I will take the dice shard though. So there is a secret here. There we go. And a one up. Got that counterfeit penny still. Pretty sure this is going to be a successful run. Seems like I should be flying, but I guess not. I just unlocked that curved horn too. Come on. Do better.
Well, glad I picked up that die shard. Don't need either of those. It's crazy how they're both pedestal items, too. Fear shot, bomb bag. I'll take it. What happens if I full charge this? It's not worth it. <laughs> they just died. Finally, you've given me something useful. You ever have that one uh, relative that just completely bombs your their gift giving ability? Like you go to uh, you get them a really nice gift, like a trip to Tahiti or something. I don't know. And then what do they give you in return? pair of pajamas that don't that are just way too loose not speaking from experience tears up tears up i don't want any of these pills I'm trying to think of the worst gift I ever got. But I really don't complain about gifts. I was raised to never be ungrateful. A pillow? Now if it were like a stiff hard pillow I'd agree with you. What kind of pillow was it? Like one of those um pillows with the females on him like the uh, anime like no what kind of pillow was it though Oh, now they'll open when I shoot it. Oh yeah, they definitely pulled that, that out of their closet and be like, this one's not that dirty, we'll just give them this. But gifts from uh, Crackhead Uncles really... You really can't complain about those. Well, I guess you can because usually they steal from you and sell your video games. Like your old school and Super Nintendo games for money to buy drugs. They, you know, get put them off at the pawn shop. But I think their heart was always in the right place. We just didn't know how much they needed the drugs and they were educating us on that yep never tried it personally but I know people who have, unfortunately. I 
I remember catching uh, one of my uncles who came over to visit us, my mom and my brothers. I caught him in the bathroom smoking it, and I that smell will, will never leave me. Like, I could still smell it to this day. He had a piece of foil and everything. Jeez. Vice has some pretty good uh, articles or uh, videos. Which town was it? It's got to be somewhere in the southeast, right? Like Kentucky, Tennessee, one of the Carolinas, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, so you got that Canadian myth, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm from California, but I recently moved to North Carolina, and that was a hell of a drive. I left a Friday night and didn't get there until Sunday afternoon. It actually is. It's so much better than California. Like, it's so green here. The uh, apartment complex I stay at is just, like, pretty much in the middle of a forest. There's freeways and stuff, but there's so many trees just throughout the complex. The only thing that could be too bad is the humidity, but I haven't experienced that bad. Huh. <laughs> And I've probably only seen one homeless person here since I've been here. In California, they outnumber you pretty much. I remember the week before I left California, I was riding my bike to the gym. And there was just human shit everywhere. And there's a few tents set up across the street from the gym. I'm like, how does the girl feel safe? going to the gym when there's this home homeless encampment right across the street I'm trying to get the achievement gather 99 coins and spend them all so once I gather a few more coins I'm gonna be rolling the fortune wheel uh, slot machine. I think I got it already, but I'm not sure. I haven't played this file in a while. Yeah, there's a few. I've got like three fortune machines. I don't think you have to spend them all at once. Like I could break it up between the three machines. There we go. Got the 99. Finally get some flight. I really like this song. Even the cathedral song is really good. Uh, miss me with that gay shit. Like a ghost song. I don't know if you've ever heard ghost before. But one of their songs kind of sounds like that.
Definitely not drinking Bud Light. Rockstar Energy, baby. Uh, they're... They're not metal. They're more, uh... I don't know how you would describe them. Just like regular rock. But they're from Sweden. Uh, Square Hammer is probably their best song. There's also... They have a lot of good songs, though. Um... Oh, there's one. Square Hammer and definitely, um... Uh, Rat is a good one. Seriously. He is as good, too. Yeah, they look metal, but they have... Uh, it's not, like, that metal. They definitely have that vibe, that satanic vibe. But they're very melodic. They have a lot of some slow songs. The guy is, uh... Always going through changes, like he changes his appearance, like with every new CD they release. Mm, I know there's another one. Oh, another Wheel of Fortune. That's pretty lucky. But Cersei is a slow song. He is is a slow song. Um, but yeah, check out Square Hammer if they fit your vibe. Yep, I must have already got that achievement. Better sit. But my all time favorite band is Red Hot Chili Peppers. Even though their last few albums have been kind of lackluster. Okay. I haven't listened to their latest album, but that's only because their last album before that was so bad. And I didn't want to get disappointed again. But I listen to all types of music. Uh, I've been real big into the Wu-Tang Clan. I got into them pretty recently. Snoop Dogg has always been up there. Uh, Ludacris. The only type of music I really haven't gotten into is country and even then I like a few songs like some of Garth Brooks songs and that little Nas X Old Town Road song is pretty good oh Three Days Grace I've, I've listened to them a few times guess I'll go for the pact Give me that curse ability. And the Leviathan transformation. I was hoping I could find uh, Dad's key so I could fight Mega Satan. Because I would just obliterate him. But hopefully I get the delirium fight. The delirium portal to open. Because this is a pretty good item set to have for it. For heavy metal, I like Metallica, Avenged Sevenfold. The last concert I went to was actually Avenged Sevenfold with my younger brother. Uh, the only issue was... Uh, it was extremely hot. It was during the summer. It was like 110 degrees outside. 
that part wasn't fun, but everything else was. It was for their the stage tour was a few years ago. City of Evil is probably my favorite album from Avenged Sevenfold. Nightmare is pretty good. Oh, System of a Down, I grew up with them. Well, they came out when I was... They were big in, what, like the early 2000s? I was graduating high school then. Chop Suey, Aerials, um... BYOB. The Hyrofest. Toxicity. Yeah, BYOB is so good. Lonely Day. That's a really good song. It's so good. My younger brother was really into Linkin Park, or he still is. Rest in peace, but Linkin Park's pretty good. Green Day, I used to really like Green Day, but they kind of fell off for me when he started doing more drugs. American Idiot, I really like that album, but... The dude is just an idiot himself, Billy Joel. It's like he never grew up. American Idiot had a really good Broadway musical though. They turned that album into a musical, it's pretty cool. No Delirium Fight. Sadly, I am going to keep going just in case I get dad's key somewhere because it could pop up as a pedestal item. Let me change that out just because I never haven't picked it up yet. Trying to think of who I'm going to use next while I'm searching for this key. Don't want to rush too hard because if I do find that key, I would like all the health I could get, but I doubt I'll need a lot. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting it. Finally unlocked the Lasso, my favorite character. I remember when I first unlocked him on my other playthrough, I had to find the missing poster sacrifice combo five times and get a puzzle piece each time. But this past time, I just unlocked it after only getting the poster once and then dying in the sack room. So I don't know if they changed that with an update or what. But that was very unexpected and welcome because I really didn't want to have to die five times to unlock them. Okay. Yeah, I unlocked him beforehand. See, I've already got the dead gun on that file, so I'm working on this one. Yeah, <laughs> you know it. You know it. Like my shirt says, true to the wear, light and blue, baby. Pat Riot.
or Patriot for short. Go for some hard mode Samson. Finally unlocked Greedier too. Yeah, I've got a bunch of videos over on YouTube if you want to check them out. The uh, channel over there is called Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. Uh, it's a podcast my brother and friend used to do. We've got about 90-something episodes up. It's just pure video game talk. The first... 80 or so episodes are audio only, but then we started incorporating video into our pods after that, but really didn't take off as much as I wanted it to. So if you're into gaming podcasts, check it out. I've got some like highlights over there as well. We'll be playing uh, Hollow Knight and beating the Pantheon. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, my friend's name is Nick. I'm... I'm Brandon, and my brother's name is Brad. So if you check out our podcast, I think you'll enjoy it. Now, to be fair, the first few are kind of rough because we kind of didn't know what we were doing, but we picked up our stride around episode six, I want to say. We started a, a format and, you know, stuck to it. But if I recommend starting with six, and if you enjoy it, you know, listen and go back to the other ones. Seven is uh, where our friend Nick joins us, and he becomes a staple on the pod. Because my brother and I sound so similar, we needed a break in the in our voice tone. So it kind of sounded like we were talking to each other, or talking to ourselves, basically, because we sounded so similar. So with Nick, his voice is so unique that kind of broke it up. But yeah, I'll be putting highlights on that YouTube channel from the stream. I was streaming on YouTube for a bit, but I don't know. The It's harder to edit videos with YouTube. Like it only downloads in a certain frame rate and it took so long to convert it. But with Twitch, I could just use a third party Twitch leecher site and download stuff at the quality I want it. Oh, baby, and a quarter? What are you gonna give me? A troll bomb? That's alright. I forgive you. Got so much money. I have not beat Boss Rush with this guy, so I better get to it. Stop dilly dallying. I have a gold key too, I didn't even see myself grabbing that. I might have to put my shades up, I can't see anything. With this curse of darkness. I am pretty much going to be streaming this game for the majority of my time. Uh, if I get bored of it, I'll, I'll change it up. I just started out with Isaac because I really like the game, but I play all types of games. I've got about 80 Platinum Trophies for PS5. Uh, my most... Uh, my proudest one was this one and Hollow Knight. They probably took the longest to platinum. Because Hollow Knight, you had to do that pantheon where you had to beat every boss in a row with the two secret bosses without dying. And I've got that up on YouTube. I've got the full video of when I did it and also to the highlights of the last two bosses.
but I just got done platinuming Doom 2016. I recently platinumed Horizon Dawn, Forbidden West, and Zero Dawn. If I really like a game and appreciate it, I'll platinum it, but if it's a game that I don't care for, it's not fun, I won't even try to platinum it. Like I played that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game, and I couldn't get into it at all. Like they had a card game that I mainly played with it, but the main game, it was just, I don't know, too clunky, the flying was awkward. The fighting was okay, but the only reason I wanted to play it was, you know, for the storyline and the characters, but I got too many other games to play. I also want to play Dead Space. I want to uh, platinum the remake because I platinum Dead Space 1 and 2. And on Dead Space Remake, they implemented the hardcore mode which they did in part two as a trophy. In part two, you had to beat Dead Space to, uh, without dying, and you could only save in three spots in the whole game. And if you died, you went all the way back to your latest save spot. But they redid it in the remake, so now you get as many saves as you want, but if you die, then you have to start over. So that sounds fun to me. I'd also like to Platinum Resident Evil 4 Remake. I've done Part 2 and 3 Remake. Uh, I also... Uh, I didn't. I don't think I Platinum 8 though. Because 8 you had to do these like mercenary trials and they just weren't fun to me. So I gave up on that. Part 7 I Platinum though. That was a really fun one. I really liked part 7. Um, it went back to its horror roots. I didn't play 5 and 6 because it seemed too action-y for me. Justice. Mm. Yeah, it was. I really like the roguelike aspect of it. Oh, that was another one I platinumed Hades. That game was hella fun, and I'm glad they're coming out with a part two. I just hope they don't uh, go woke on it. Part one was a little too woke with the whole, you know, gay lovers and stuff, which is okay, but not my cup of tea. So hopefully part two is not as bad. What is my current active item? I don't have a I don't have a held item. Hmm. Do I really want the tick though? Nah. The tick makes it so the bosses start with only like they have 10% of their health missing. So it could be worth it, but I don't know. I'm thinking about it if I want to grab the tick. hit that the wrong way. I like this boss. It's kind of like a dance. Like uh, Grim in Hollow Knight. Do we go for a Devil Room? Or Angel? Mmm, I wanna go in that cursed room. I wonder if I could pedestal item this familiar. Does anyone know? Mm. 
the pedestal sacrifices familiars for other pedestal items, but I don't know if this counts as a pedestal item. Like if it's just like a free one I could use. I guess we'll find out once I get another person to sacrifice. Worthless. I'm not gonna fight two bosses for some panties. I forgot I picked up that Pokemon item. That dude just came out of nowhere and started blasting. Like one of those school shooters. Just creeps up on you. <laughs> Garbage. I do have to pick it up. Yeah, it's like I got a bazooka with this thing, a rocket launcher. Question is, do, yeah, I know what I'm doing. We're using this in the shop. Going Rambo. Gladly take this odd mushroom. That's one thing I've got to try mushrooms. I think they'd be pretty fun. Or like, uh, what are those one things called? LSD? LSD tablets? Hallucinogenics? Dude, you gotta stop doing that. There's nothing to shoot. Scared the shit out of me. He's aiming the wrong way. I guess he doesn't have any eyes. It doesn't stop him in the womb when it's attacking me. It's not like bat radar. Go check out that curse room. I also have to beat greed mode and uh, or greedier mode and get my donation machine up. I'm at like 500 something, and we all know with. With 750, the loss starts with the Holy Mantle. And I really want to play as Lost. But I don't feel like beating it again without that Holy Mantle. I wonder if you could use the pedestal with this guy. Nope. Okay. Man, that worm took that to the face. Soul hearts. So if you guys see a rock that I don't that you could break, let me know.
What are you thin? Ethan, better hero than Leon. Oh, I just took that. There go my chances for the angel room. Pro tip right there, use your Midas Touch on Black Flies. Dude, I used to not like Claire, but the Part 2 remake made me a fan of Claire. Jill is just a nemesis simp. She loves to play the victim. Oh, he's chasing me. Yeah, Heisenberg is definitely cool. I really liked him as a character. Yeah, Eight Village had some really good uh, enemies. That frog, that retarded frog baby or whatever, Mordo, who's just like a disappointment. Stupid fish frog, the retarded fish frog baby. Yeah. <laughs> that dude wasn't getting anything right. Village uh, had some really good fight rooms, like there's a part where you had to storm the castle, that was a really, with all the werewolves, that was really cool, I really liked that, that fight, you had to, you know, breach the castle, then fight through their horde, then fight the fucking uber wolf at the end. Yeah, the stronghold. I think my all-time favorite Resident Evil that I've played. I would say 7. I mean, nothing could beat their original Part 2. Heck <laughs> yeah, Hagrid. One thing I didn't like about Part 8 was the Duke. But all the boss fights in Part 8 were amazing. Yeah. He reminds me of this guy I work with. 
This dude is a unit. He, like, he, before he come, like before his shift starts at work, he'll order. I work at a pizza place. He'll order a medium pizza for himself and a 32-piece parm bite, and he just downs him with no remorse. And he'll sit, it's creepy too, like he'll sit there and watch everyone work. And he'll just sit there at the table and watch us work and eat. And he'll like put the parm bites in his mouth one by one until all 32 are down. And then sometimes a food truck will show up. Uh, because of the bar next door, a food truck will show up. And he'll order food from the food truck. And then he takes food home at the end of his shift. And dude only works like four hours a day. But he needs all that sustenance, sustenance to keep his body moving. Like that dude gets hungry constantly. And he's always... Uh, has to go outside like he makes excuses to go outside and vape or like in the back of the store they're like uh i have to go take garbage out i'm like no you don't you don't have to do that right now come back to it after i visit the shop no i'll just roll it now But dude is definitely a chunk and a half. Maybe two chunks. And I don't get it, he always tries to group me in with him. He'll be like, we're big guys, right? And like, dude, I'm not the one sitting there wearing a forex shirt to work. He's like, yeah. And he tried to pass that shit off as a 2X. I'm like, bitch, I wear a 2X and your shit looks like a dress on you. So it's like he wears a moo moo. He'll be like, we're big guys, we gotta eat constantly. And like, dude, I eat once a day. And that's when I get off work and I'm at home, I'll eat dinner and that's it for the rest of the day. He's like, I had two pancakes before work. I'm like, dude, you just finished off a medium pizza and 32 bites and you had pancakes before this? He's so lazy too. Like I rarely talk mean about people, but this guy's worthless. Worthless. Like you ask him to sweep up, he'll sweep one-handed with a giant purse room, and he'll just be like raking the broom like this. I'm like, dude, it's a push broom, push. He doesn't get it, but thankfully we got a few more employees and he's going to be getting rid of real quick once uh, we have our manager meeting with all the other, you know, GMs, general managers. I'm definitely going to be pushing for that because he just eats into our profits literally, like literally eats into our profits.
and the only, he didn't take food home last night and the only reason why is because we had a huge order that was out of our delivery area get canceled and there was so much food to eat I know he wanted to take food home too he was like kind of looking side-eyed at the parmesan bites and he was like man I want to take some of those home but I know I'm just going to get made fun of yeah you want to get made fun of but I'm like dude you just ate a whole nother pizza and a bread bowl and you claimed the bites already so you want to take home some more pasta like dude when he was like I had I had pancakes before work but that was two hours ago I'm like dude okay You know he doused that shit in syrup too. Well the good thing about angel rooms is that they have some familiars that I could sack with this pedestal. But they also have pretty good items. As long as I don't get that stupid breath of life, I'm good. Oh, I could sacrifice baby Gish, too. Okay, benediction. Contrition. Close enough. Oh, I could sacrifice a little robot buddy. Oh, baby. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, too bad I'm not on the trail for Hush. Maybe I could find Mob Omega in the item shop. The dude has the worst taste in video games, too. His favorite game company is Blizzard. I'm like, of course you would like Blizzard. And then I, I just knew his type as soon as he said that. I started uh, trolling him real hard. I was like... Yeah, all the all the modern warfare games suck too. And then he nearly had a heart attack in the store. Oh yeah, no. Hey, I'm I like Nintendo. I grew up on Nintendo. I haven't played a Switch game in a while. Like there's that new Zelda game that came out. I haven't <clears throat> even picked that up yet. I think the last yeah, the last Switch game I played was Metroid Dread. But he, oh, he does, he, he does still play Pokemon. I gave up on Pokemon when uh, you weren't able to collect every single Pokemon in the game. So a few generations ago, I just stopped playing it because that's why I like Pokemon, because I like to collect things. But yeah, he, he still plays Pokemon. He won't play Pokemon Go, that's too much work. Yep, he definitely does. He's a, uh, I can't remember what he said he was because I really was not caring what he was saying. And the dude talks constantly all the time. And the weirdest thing he does is he'll, like, like, he gives, like, these delicate finger taps on your back, like, when he needs attention. And 
for how big he is, he has very soft hands. And so when he touches you, it's very soft like a girl. And it just creeps me out when I turn around and there's this blob of a man just sitting there. But he's always talking about... And he always tries to tell jokes, too. He'll be like... Uh... So we're like, ah, oh, you dropped that. Like, if I drop something, I'm like, yeah. And he's like, it's a joke. I'm like, that, no, it wasn't. <laughs> that definitely was not a joke. He's like, ah, oh, I gotta give you some kind of, uh, grief when you do something wrong. And I was like, okay, well, you don't have to, but I don't mind if you do. It doesn't bother me any. <laughs> And he'll sit, like, we'll be hella busy, and I'll be sitting there making hella pizzas, you know, trying to get the oven, catch pizzas coming out, you know, moving as fast as I can, and he's sitting there with his finger up his nose, just waiting to point anything out. And one time he asked, uh one of our other employees to guess how old he was and the guy said I don't know like 19 he's like ha 23 everyone always thinks I'm young and I said well it's probably the way you act and he did not like that response because he does act very childish yeah he's 23 Well, you already act better than that guy, and I barely met you, so... Mm -hmm. I got a lot of hearts. I'll go for the dark room again. Yeah, you already have a good taste in music, and you're pretty young, too. Usually, people your age don't know who System of a Down is. So, yeah, you got that going for you. Anyone that likes System of a Down is good in my book. Wait, wait, wait. I just saw your name. You boof fentanyl? Dude, you know all about that shit, huh? <laughs> Fenty boofer. Okay, I was like, <laughs> dude. That's a pretty funny name, actually. That's my kind of humor. That's where we all learn it. It's from friends. I was so naive growing up. Our mom kept us sheltered. We couldn't leave our apartment complex because we lived in the ghetto. So that's where our love for video games came from because she got us a Nintendo to keep us from uh, not being bored. So when the Nintendo first came out, the OG Nintendo, she got us one with The Legend of Zelda and Super Mario Brothers. And just fell in love with it from there. Oh, for Game Boy? I know they did a remake of Link, Link, I actually played both, um, Link's Awakening and then the remake. Both really good games. I appreciate them.
Yeah, <laughs> playing Nintendo games on an on a Sony device. I dig it. I always said Nintendo should go the way of Sega and stop making systems and instead make games as a third party developer. Because seeing a Metroid or Zelda game on a Sony PS5 would be pretty good, in my opinion. So it wouldn't be disappoint me if they stopped making systems. It would only disappoint me if they stopped making games. Because it seems like Nintendo is always, uh... It's always behind when it comes to system hardware. But the quality of their games always seem to be pretty good. Alright, Charge Boy. See if I could get an item from you. I know there's one achievement where you have to let this guy give you items five times, but he's very stingy with his items. And th their games never go on sale. If you find like a new Mario game on sale for like 50 bucks, you're like, damn, that's a good deal. They're always so stingy with their games. Even like, look at the Pokemon games. The aftermarket is so bad on them. I mean, it's good if you go to uh, flea markets and such and find them real cheap, you could resell them. But if you're getting into Pokemon, uh, be prepared to spend a lot of money on not only the actual cartridge, but the device to play them on since it spans multi-generations. There we go. Don't have to deal with that little fucker again. I actually wanted to blow him up so I could increase the chances of me getting an angel room. I gotta start looking at these rocks. Am I in darkness? I am in darkness. That's why I can't see shit. But yeah, if you can't tell, Piccolo. My favorite Dragon Ball character and Mega Man, one of my favorite video game characters. I've got a few statues I'm going to rotate out. Maybe I'll switch it up for the next stream. It's just a such a hassle to bring them out of the little storage container out back on my patio. Because they're so big. Yeah, mine too. I... Grew up watching Dragon Ball, like it came out when I was in high school in America, and it sucked all the time. You're waiting for the new episode of Goku to finally come and fight Nappa, but then it just loops back to fucking Snake Way. You gotta wait eight more weeks for them to catch up. But Dragon Ball is probably the most spoiled anime out there. Like, you, you can't avoid spoilers. You have to keep up on that shit. Who's your favorite character in Dragon Ball? Favorite hero, favorite villain. Favorite villain for me is Brawly. Oh, no. Frieza. Frieza is probably my favorite villain, but... Second would be Brawly. Dude, that dude was an assassin. What? Just Gohan in general? No, like, specific form? I guess that'd be like saying, 
I like Piccolo, but only when he fused back with Kami or something crazy like that. Like, which form of Gohan is your favorite? I guess Gohan as a character. Definitely not when he was a little bitch hiding behind everyone during the Nappa fight. Dude, when I first saw that, how, how scared he was acting, it made me so mad. I was like, this dude is supposed to be hella strong, but he's just a little baby coward. He, then he gets Piccolo killed. So these ace cards are actually much stronger than I thought. Well, I don't need those. What it does is it actually, what the hell? Oh, I've got the maze curse. So these ace cards actually, I thought they only transformed items into what you need, but it transforms enemies as well, like low level enemies. Like that. Ace. Definitely didn't want to deal with those fucking mole people. I'm thinking about... Oh! Tainted Jacob is actually one of my favorite characters to play with. He was super annoying. He was the first Tainted character I completed. Because I wanted to go... I looked up hardest Tainted characters to play with. And he was number one on a lot of lists. And I was like, oh wow, I think that the Tainted Lost would be the hardest. But no, people were saying Tainted Jacob. So Tainted Jacob, you just have to get really good at using the Chain of Abyss or whatever it's called. The Astral Chain. And... Using him as a weapon, using him, like, knowing when he's coming back so you could avoid him. And knowing when to chain him so that you could, you know, loop around and punish the, the bosses with it. I think he is a lot easier to play with as a Lost because he could get hearts and the Lost can't. Uh, but it's all about getting the right move set. Of course, if you get C-section with the my, mom knives and the death size, you're going to do good. But just knowing the different item combinations and how they work is pretty big. But on a lot of these tainted characters, you have to get extremely lucky. I do, for some reason, I love playing as the Lost, though. I, he, he's, it's just... A challenge, but not like a, an impossible challenge. Like, as long as you... You could get unlucky, though, sometimes. You get, like, a, during boss rush, you could just get fucking stomped on by a fucking monstro or something like that. Where am I going? Polaroid or a negative. But getting the nine lives with the lost... That's gross. Getting the nine lives with the lost. Probably number one priority. Yeah. It's, but it's, you know, you're, you're also as good as a stopwatch or even better the I'm Drowsy pill. Finding an I'm Drowsy pill is pretty crucial too. Cause I'm not one of those guys that speedruns this game and they know like every movement to avoid everything. I, I try to make things as easy as possible. Spending probably what was it? Probably a good year on the Hollow Knight Pantheon was pretty daunting and probably the biggest time commitment besides Binding of Isaac to complete one little task. 
I don't know if I would... I think I would rather complete the Pantheon again than getting the Dead God file, but this is much funner, in my opinion, than going through the Pantheon again. Plus, Silk Song is coming out pretty soon. And who knows, it may just be a true sequel to Hollow Knight where I actually play as a knight again. And that's why it's taking so long to come out, is they have to, you know... Hollow Knight's pro probably the best Metroidvania game out there. It's extremely difficult, though. I'm drowsy. Speaking of the I'm Drowsy pill. The good thing about Hollow Knight is it really pushes the boundaries of exploration. You don't even... You get a map, kinda, in the game. You have to find the maps of each section. You buy them. But you don't get an an icon on where you are on the map unless you equip the charm which are like little artifacts that help you in the game so you actually have to use a charm slot in order to see where you're at on the map and I thought that was pretty cool it made it so that you either had to give up a charm slot or get really good at navigating the map without knowing where you are and at first it was kinda hard because on all the other metroidvania games I play like I'm a huge Castlevania fan, so I've played all those, of course. You have a little icon to show where you're at on the map, but with Hollow Knight, you don't. And I was kind of like, eh, I wish I had one. But now, with, with playing it, it, I like it better with that, with the option of having a compass. But if you're going to play Hollow Knight, expect to, uh, a pretty hard game, but it's very fun. A lot of secrets, too. I'm a fan of, like, secret walls and stuff, and finding them is so satisfying in that game. But if you're into roguelites, like Isaac, Hades is so good. I don't know if you played Hades. Ooh, Delirium. Oh, I don't have the key. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go for the... Yeah, Isaac's like... That's why I went back to it. It's, it's just so... It's like the perfect roguelike game. There's this game called Rogue Legacy that I kind of started out my roguelike journey with. And it was alright, but nothing like this. Actually, no, the first roguelike game I kind of, I played was actually in a different game. Uh, it's a roguelike in an RPG. It's called Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. They had something called the Ancient Cave, which was a 100 floor basement. Where you started at basement 1 and went all the way to basement 100. And it was very new because... When you went into the ancient cave, you started back at level 1 with no gear. And you're like, what the hell is going on here? Because I've never heard of a roguelike before. So, in the ancient cave, the only way to keep any items was to find items in blue treasure chests. And they were usually very powerful items. So, every time you found a blue treasure chest, that dopamine hit was insane. Uh, so if you have time and you want to check out a really good Super Nintendo game with probably the best roguelike dungeon outside of Isaac, check that out. The only issue is you have to get about halfway to three quarters of the way into the game to get to the Ancient Cave. But once you do, it's it's got tons of content, tons of hours, so many things to collect. 
There's no trophies or achievements because it is an old game, but it's so satisfying to play. You definitely could emulate that too. And you don't have to play Lufia 1 to, to know the story of Lufia 2. In my opinion, they're I mean, there's some carryover, but not a lot. I started. I never played Lufia One and played Lufia Two first. I eventually went back and played Part One, but Lufia Two is such a better game, anyways. And they have an ancient cave as well in Part One, but it's nowhere near as as good as Part Two. Hey, thank you, War. Found the secret room for me. Didn't have to waste a bomb. Oh, that did a number on my attack. Yeah, check out some, like, footage. I know there's probably people, you know, showing off the ancient cave. See if it's something you're into. I do have an SNES Mini that I hacked and put that game on, on it with, the, like, a hundred other games. So I might be a, uh, maybe I'll stream that. I have to get a capture card for it. Or find a way to throw Lufia 2 on this PS5 console. I doubt there's a way to do that. Ah, uh, tried to get out with a gun without getting hit. Pretty good, pretty good, uh, Dodging though. Is that a drowsy? No. Oh, I don't need you anymore. Actually, I could use my book twice. I won't need it, but just just because I can. There. <laughs> that had unexpected results. <laughs> Delirium fight again. I'll do one more run before I have to start getting ready for work. Hmm. Really don't like playing as Eve. Real quick as they get over in. No need to rush. I have hush and boss rush on this already. Yeah, but one thing is I do miss our arcades. I uh, used to go to the arcade a lot when I was younger. We actually had uh, an arcade, Street Fighter 2, in a grocery store we used to go to when we were really young. But our mom never gave us quarters to play with. And I could never never understand why. I know we were broke. But I was like, it's just a quarter, Mom. So in order to use a shopping cart at this particular store, you had to put a quarter in a machine and then it released a shopping cart for you. 
and then when you brought the shopping cart back to the machine, you could put it back in and get a quarter back. So my brother and I would sit by the arcade, or sit by the shopping cart machine and look sad and and think, oh, they'll see we're sad sitting here by this machine. They must know we want this quarter to play the Street Fighter 2 game. It never really worked until we started asking people, like, can we return your cart for some money so we could play Street Fighter? And this one time this lady let us, and my mom was so horrified that we were begging for money. And like, well, if you're not going to give us a quarter, then we have to get it from somewhere else. The first time I ever played Street Fighter 2, I picked Zanjeev. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're very rare in the United States. I haven't seen any other place but one other place. called It's called Big G Supermarket. And that was the only place I ever knew to have those type of machines. Oh, look at this. It's like California in here with all these beggars. Latch key. Dude, you see this? Like... You've got the bald meth head right here. You've got the soulless heroin user right here. And you've got just got the evil satanic beggar right here. But I really am glad that we decided to move out of California. That place went downhill so fast. First, it started with the prices, like taxes are insane. Gas was like six dollars a gallon. Where I live at now in North Carolina, you're not paying more than three nineteen for gas per gallon. Then the homeless people came. I mean they were always here like, but they were always centralized in one area of downtown by the loaves and fishes where they got free meals. So they usually hung out there and, you know, kept out of the neighborhoods and whatnot. But then they just started invading, like just putting up tents anywhere. And the cops, they would rather pull you over for driving without a seatbelt than deal with the homeless situation. But it's not their fault because it's... <laughs> not they're directed not to mess with the homeless so well I'm like well if my taxpayer money isn't going towards fixing real issues then I'm just gonna leave and that's what we did I'm, I'm blowing these uh, machines up sparingly because once I get to 69 cents, I'm going to stop using them. So. Oh, this guy. I haven't fought this guy in a while. Yes, it's crazy. Like. They could just. You've seen the videos where they just walk in and just steal whatever they want and walk out. And they don't get the cops called on him. It makes me just feel like, hey, why don't I go do that? If no one's getting harassed or cops called on him, why don't I just go steal a new TV? But I wasn't raised that way, so. Is it racist if you're not wrong, though? I'm just 
just look at the statistics. I used to be an analyst back in California, and that's one thing we always did was look at the statistics, and look at these two queer items. Probably take the unknown, then get that queer shit. Sure is. Sure is, buddy. Oh, and it's gay month, too. I bet you... bet you those people won't like that, that I'm dissing their items on gay month. Isn't it, like, the whole summer now? Like, don't they rule the summer? Thong weather. <laughs> Women's month isn't a thing. Don't worry about that. Isn't that something new? Like it started this year or something? Hey, they deserve a month though. Maybe it could be <laughs> December for D-Day. When, uh... We retaliated against Pearl Harbor. Oh, I missed a secret room up there. The stars. Hey, they fucked around and found out, am I right? They're like, uh, we're just gonna drop this, these two bombs on you. I stopped it. Oh. Yeah, there's this dude at my work that's huge into conspiracy theories. And he looks like he's into conspiracy theories. Some are legit. But then there's others that are like, the moon landing isn't real. That I'm just like, eh. Or like the flat earthers. I always like think those videos are hilarious when the flat earthers are like, now we're gonna <laughs> now now we're gonna um, prove the earth is flat by doing an experiment and then all of a sudden they disprove themselves. They're like, oh shit. To be fair, I don't know much of that conspiracy, you know, the whole meaning behind it. There's only a few conspiracies I actually went down the rabbit hole on. Flat Earther isn't one of them. Moon Landing's one of them because... I don't think that was really, you know, lied about. Um, that's another one I, I... Of course, Aliens, you know those are real. Anyone who doubts aliens is just insane. Oh yeah, that one too. Hey, there's some there's some crazy stuff when you look at it for 9/11, especially that whole Pentagon uh, crash site. That one's pretty crazy. Hive Mind would be pretty good right about now. This 
crazy how all the TV shows are pretty much woke these days. Like, I haven't watched a TV show, like a real TV show, in so long. Just because every time I log on or, you know, check something out, it's always like an evil white person doing harm. And they're like, like any movie nowadays you watch, it's just like, oh, let's see how this white dude acts. Oh, they're a rapist, okay. What about this white dude? Oh, he's killing somebody. So I really haven't enjoyed too many uh, movies or TV shows lately because of that. It's like you could see the agenda they're pushing. Oh, SNL is so so retarded. It's so unwatchable. It's like you could tell it's politically motivated. You could see the agenda there, and it's like. I, I don't like to use cr word cringe, but it really is cringe. The they have some really good talent on that show too, and they're just wasting it. What am I going for? Yeah, uh, Michael Che, he's really he's really funny. Uh, Keenan Thompson, he's funny too. But all the girls on there are just horrible. I think the l last great female SNL character was Molly Shannon, maybe. Well, there was that chick who was in Bridesmaids. I can't remember her name. Maya Rudolph was good too. But I think Molly Shannon was the latest great female SNL character or uh, cast member. 90s SNL were prime time, man. You had Chris Kattan, Chris Brewer. Uh, of course, you had the earlier 90s with Adam Sandler, Tracy Morgan, <clears throat> Chris Rock. Crazy Morgan's hilarious. I need some bombs. Gotta find my nearest jihad dealer. Yeah, he was. And it sucked because no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stay up past like 10 o'clock. That Back then, like when I was in high school, I had this biological biological clock that kept that put me to sleep around ten and woke me up at like five thirty. And I could never stay up, so we had to record it on the VCR. And the good thing about that is you got to skip the commercials, but you never got to see it live. Even when Mad TV came on, that started coming on like at eleven. I always tried so hard to stay up and watch it, but I just couldn't. Because it was either record Mad TV or record SNL. And I always wanted to see SNL. Is it Billy Madison? I think, dude, Little Nicky's pretty good too. I like Little Nicky. Uh, what else are his good movies? You know, Happy Gilmore. Everyone likes Happy Gilmore, though. I tend not to say that because everyone likes that. Waterboy is underrated, I think. I remember when Waterboy came out. Uh, my brother and I were on the senior high school football team at the time. We were varsity. And some football buddies invited me to go see the Waterboy. And I kept said, hell yeah, I want to go see the water boy. And my brother got so mad that he didn't get invited. And the only reason he didn't get invited is because they only had one extra seat in the, in the van. So I went to go see the water boy. And my brother and I shared a room at the time. <laughs> yeah. Grandma's boy too. I went to go see the water boy. And my brother and I shared a room, and when I got back, he completely moved out of the room because we had bunk beds. He took his bunk bed and left and went to the spare game room. All because I saw the water boy without him.
Adam Sandler did this one movie called Rain Over Me. Uh, like a drama movie. Oh, was it Varsity Blues? What did I say, Waterboy? Okay. Yeah, it was Varsity Blues, you're right. Technology? I'll take some technology. Oh, it doesn't work with Grimstone. Alright. Oh, that's right. I think you went to go see Waterboy without me. Varsity Blues was a good movie. But back to Rain Over Me, Adam Sandler's drama movie. I thought it was actually really well done. I liked it a lot. It was sad, but it was a good movie. Varsity Blues, and it was funny because people on the football team were making connections to the coaches in that movie compared to the coaches that we had, and the coaches were not nearly as bad as the ones in Varsity Blues, but they made it out to be like all the football players, man, this is just like Varsity Blues, like dude, it definitely is not. <laughs> This isn't Texas football. Do I have Satan on this one? I do have Satan already, okay. Oh, Breath of Life. I'm not using that. Don't have time for that. But yeah, I try to stream uh, six days a week. Uh, usually only a few hours per day because I do have a day job. Uh, but I don't mind it. You know, once I start getting a view, you know, viewers, my viewer count up here, then maybe we could relook at things. But as of right now, weekends are pretty open. I try to stream longer on the weekends. But Monday through Friday, pretty hard to you know, stream for multiple hours a day. I, I'm the closing manager at the pizza shop, so I usually stay there until 1 or 2 in the morning sometimes. Sometimes 3 if, you know, it gets too busy. horns on my head. Oh, from Ares. That's right. Gotta love that speed. How fast I'm moving, not the actual drag. PhD would be nice. I do like to know which pills I'm going to use before I use them. <laughs> Go for the damage boost. See what this little guy will give me.
I don't want that. I don't like any of those <coughs> error cards or error items. The randomizers that could crash the game. I don't know if that will, but I'm not taking my chances. Oh, I got rid of my box of spiders for that bomb. I was wondering why I didn't have any blue guides following me. To go all the way back around. I'm just going to teleport using the Emperor card. Eh, no, there's some exploring for me to do. Could find like a dive shard or something to change that breath of life. Might as well spend some money. Would like to find a crawl space. Haven't found one of those this session. That was always fun. Oh, Blue Mom. She's going to be easier, right? for a delirium fight after blue baby yeah it's the only delirium coins are only good for slot machines and beggars this late game since there's no shops here. There is a trinket you could get that gives you shops in the womb. Just so I don't take damage from the spikes. None of these are good, but I do have to pick them up for having them in my run, so I'll just grab these. I'll grab the pack too while I'm at it. I'm not taking any damage. Or I haven't taken damage in a while, so. As I say that. Zelda reference there, Dodongos don't like smoke. Oh, you want some keys? I got you. Oh, I don't want to get any more coins. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was like, what the hell is hitting me in the starting room? I forgot I have double active item, that's why I was able to use two bombs. I thought it would just place two bombs instead of me letting me use it twice. Hell yeah, um, come back tomorrow if you've got time. I'll be streaming tomorrow around the same time. Thanks for hanging out. It's always funner when people will actually watch you play instead of playing to nobody, so I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll have more tales of uh, Tubalard tonight from tonight's service. You know he's really what he's really gonna go do, right? He's about to go boof. <laughs> he's like, I gotta go. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> yeah. Alright dude, see you later. I wonder if paralysis protects you from getting hurt. I mean, there, is it just like a full negative pill or is there a reason to use it? Oh, okay, yeah, so it makes it so you don't get hurt. That's pretty cool, actually. A little mini shield. I mean, it's not great whatsoever, but at least there's some upside to it. No secret room. Probably up there. Nope. There it is. 
Oh, they don't disappear when you kill all the enemies. Thinking I should have kept that card, but I don't think I'll need it. Get four treasures in the next floor. Oh, it did drop two that time. Still should be okay to beat Blue Baby. to get jumped and that is because of a crawl space room that you could get a secret item in. Plus to do some pretty cool dodge maneuvers like that. Oh, he really doesn't jump. Yesterday was such a shit show at work, so the power went out at one of our neighboring stores, so corporate made the awesome decision to be like, hey, why don't we combine your two driving areas and send all the employees from that store to your stores and you both could work out of there. Dude, whoever made that decision is fucking retarded. There were like 12 employees trying to make pizzas. It was so bad. Luckily, it only lasted like a half hour, then the power got turned back on. So that was some pretty, uh, it was gonna be crazy if it was gonna continue that way. Pay to win, baby. That's not it, that's it. Not what I wanted, but... Secret room at. 
Dude, that was so lucky that I avoided all that. I wasn't even looking at my character. Alright, well that'll do it. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna chill out before I have to go to work. It's boost week, so everyone's ordering 50% off pizzas all night until like midnight. It's so crazy. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Until next time, happy hunting.